One-time talk show guest and often calm, cool, and composed Mike Lindell has been asking Bill Maher to have him on his show, and his response from Bill has been far from inviting. But there's still more hope for the MyPillow CEO than the mess that has become of Twitter. Wow, look at all this evidence! Let's save our country! Happy Honolulu! Well, unbelievable. Unbelievable? Is that like when Donald Trump forgets his diaper? My American people... Today, I am unrelievable. I am not wearing my Depends, and I have to hold it in until my handlers get a fresh pair. Unrelievable. Definitely a new one. So is Happy Honolulu. But this is the guy that thinks Elvis's big special was Heloa from Hawaii. For reals. Uh, that back in 1973, Elvis Presley did Hello from Hawaii. Yeah, one more. 1973, Elvis Presley did Hello from Hawaii. Remember that? I do not remember a show called Helloa from Hawaii. It is pouring MAGA tears. Tom Selleck's slow cousin suffers more hilarious fails and reaches out to Bill Maher and Elon Musk. I check out the latest in stupid, including Twitter's paid verification mess, MAGA crazies, check to see if the socks stay on with Marjorie Taylor Greene and Alex in the bunker, watch a funny new rant from Don Jr., and more. Marjorie Mickey Rourke in The Wrestler Taylor Green tweeted, I'm sure our enemies are quacking in their boots while we are still over here trying to count ballots. Naturally, I replied, Our enemies are seeing your tweet and taking it easy knowing it's not going to be tough to outsmart MTG and the lot that re-elected a mask-fearing, PPP-sponging, space laser conspiracy q nut with mortadella meat stumps. I'm going to put a shout out here in prime time here to two people. One is Bill Maher. Uh, I know Kid Rock was on his show. He said he would have me on his show. Bill Maher, I'm putting out in front of the whole world here. I, I would love to come on your show. You said you wanted me on your show. I would love to come on to your show and talk about whatever you want about these election, any conspiracy theories or anything you want. Kid Rock was not recently on Bill Maher's HBO TV show, Real Time. He was on Bill Maher's YouTube show. And I'd love to see Mike there with no rules and a 10 by 10 studio filled with so much smoke that Lindell would be floating. But wait, there's more. The other shout out I want to make is to Elon Musk. I would like Elon Musk to spend two hours with our best cyber guys and show them what we have. Okay, Elon's busy ruining Twitter, letting anyone with $8 have a blue tick next to their name. We are at the point that a Twitter verified badge is now as easy to get as a Herschel Walker badge. I've had my verified account for years because I've been in films, had my own cartoon show, have several albums, and the point of verification is that people in media, sports, and government are often impersonated, and since this blue tick gold rush on Twitter, things have been both hilarious and terrifying, with verified accounts deceiving people from Nintendo tweeting adult content to this conversation between Tony Blair and George Bush. And even a verified LeBron James account demanded to be traded from the Lakers. Nestle told it like it is. Now, some of this is indeed funny, but it's dangerous. What if you see a verified tweet from your local police department saying that there is an active shooter? Okay, you see what I'm talking about? This verification free-for-all is terrible and it won't last. Bill, this moron would love to come on your show. Uh, you call me a moron, uh, and uh, I'm okay with that, you know. Um, we'll see. Let's go on. We'll talk about common sense things, and then you will find out why I'm fighting to get rid of electronic voting machine for the last year and a half, you know, and that's fact. So we'll see if Bill Maher is good for his word and has me on. He did say he wouldn't have me on his show because I'm a moron the real-time whatever Bill Marshall, but I will be able to come on his high podcast where I believe he's tired a kite when he's on it, but that's fine. Maybe I can get him in the Lindell Recovery Network when I'm there with him. We'll talk about my recovery network where getting you off your addiction is just a bonus. Getting you to Jesus is the real victory. Ah, good. Tom Selleck's slow cousin has figured out that he will definitely not be on television, but maybe on Bill's podcast, where he hopes to try and get Mar to stop smoking pot 
and find Jesus. This is the guy who made a documentary called Religious, critiquing and questioning all religion. Again, I would love to see Mike in the smoke-filled room with Bill Maher. What a disgrace, what a clown, and what a joke. But at this point, feels like he's purposefully dividing the family, right? It's a last-minute Ivanka ploy to boot them bros out. It's sick. But we should be used to Jared at this point, right? Let's unite the family together, remember? I'm gonna bone everyone together. Name one time that Kushner let us enjoy Ivanka together. Her fantasies have basically said, to hell with your knob. Meanwhile on Twitter, Senator Karen was trending today. And I saw that and I was certain it was gonna be about Ted Cruz. Unfortunately, it was about Elizabeth Warren. Eh. It's like it's like a fixed football game, everyone. I want everyone to understand when we say override the algorithms. Now I'm gonna use this for I used to be a compulsive gambler. I used to bet on football and have them come to my door and go, hey, pay it, pay up today. You used to be a gambler. You still are. You bet 140 million that the election was stalled, and you've lost every penny. George said, what's what's really expensive these days? The dating scene, to take a lady out, it's three times the cost that it, what it used to be. So you gotta choose the girl you're with wisely. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this Trumper's in a pub complaining about things being three times the cost, and he looks like he spends a lot of time at the bar stool. So let's use the internet archive to see just how much things have gone up at Harry and the Natives. Ooh, you can see since 2020, the shrimp wrap has gone up by $1.75. The Gator Burger is up by $2.25. <gasps> the ribs, the ribs are up by $2.05. And the New York steak is down by nearly $3. So this really throws his triple the price thing out the window of the bus he's taking home to his MAGA Jack Shack. Ladies, if you see this leather face cheapskate on Tinder, swipe left. If you see him at the bar, leave. 30,000 votes right straight off a Democrat that's running. Either you set the algorithms too high and uh, you got to lower it to make it look good. Um, so that's what I want one of those. Um, Brandon, what do you guys think of that? Where uh, on Mastriano, um, you just seen the graph there and all you seen was one... Uh, 70,000 vote down tick. Okay. Um, is anyone at that desk? And God will show the truth. The truth was Trump won 2020 election. Right. So I have in the, my back too, here. Truth, so so. Truth won and Trump won. Amen. Yes, that's that's what Alex, we are here. We are for our Lord for Right Side Broadcasting Network. Amen. And we also want to do the same thing for our president who never conceded. In the power of the Holy Spirit, we ask of this in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Isn't God wonderful? Everything that he's doing. I feel like I just watched a commercial for stupid pills. These people take them and they work. Over on Truth Social, the stable genius Donald Trump went on a rant about Glenn Youngkin. Youngkin, that's an interesting take. Sounds Chinese, doesn't it? All I can say is Donald Trump, Lauren Boebert, and Herschel Walker are going to star in Rush Hour 4 to investigate some wanton killings. Alex here, still in the bunker with Marjorie again, good dude. It has been a wild week for the Georgia Gremlin, and all the elections were rigged by the Soros Trudeau Panda Express, except the one that my blonde meat swamp won. We are going to help Mike Lindell investigate several races thanks to the crime desk he got from Ikea and the cyber guys he hired from Best Buy. But before we get down to finding out how the globalists flip votes from a handsome Turkish TV doctor to a guy that needs a fundraiser for a razor, okay, just being honest, I do like a bit of scruff. It makes me look manly because my face is round from all the totally fake supplements I take and the blind, ignorant rage I bottle up. Now, it is tough to do surprises when you are in a bunker. 
so we work together on a special cake that MTG is going to jump out of. If you have seen the movie Under Siege with the great patriot Steven Seagal, then you'll know what we are going for. And Marjorie, let me remind you that I will don the creepy Seagal sunglasses, chef's white, and a jet black ponytail. And I'll even say, I'm just the cook. But if you come out of the cake and I see a nano shard of those 7-Eleven mozzarella sticks that the wacky tobacco graveyard shift employee played the five second rule with again and again and again before cramming them into a mortadella meat stump with the skin of Fire Marshal Bill crazy glued to the bad side of Donald Trump's diaper after he binged on Big Macs he peeled off the poster of Ivanka, then I will take this submarine to dry dock and have you walk the plank because what is the rule, MTG? The socks stay on. The socks stay on. It was wildly amusing to see the amount of MAGA tears regarding the title of last Saturday's video. MAGA was furious that I used the non-word stole, but has been totally fine with Tom Selleck's slow cousin saying it five times a day for two years. Of the country, everybody knows all this was stole, and uh, um... You guys are all in a dream world, typical communist liberals, all of you. What do you, do you guys hang out down at your ice cream stand with Uncle Joe, LOL. MAGA tears. Tommy is a commie. MAGA tears. Marjorie is very strong. I don't know why you make fun of her CrossFit posts. I would pay to see this puff pastry do one chin up. 100 bucks is on the line here. B-I-T-C eighth. MAGA tears. Dude, you have no business trying to be funny. MAGA tears. I did this to entertain my son and I still had it on my phone. So whoever that was, I'll take the hundred bucks. Thank you. Thanks so much for watching. Help me out by sharing this video or posting it on your social media and following me on mine. It costs you nothing and makes a huge difference for me. I am a one-man show here from script to screen, the editing, even the graphics. So if you can afford to, please throw me a tip with the easy PayPal link or smash that super thanks button and be sure to check out my mugs and stickers that go great with those MAGA tears. I am a stand-up comedian. I've played in 35 countries and have toured with Jim Jeffries for several years. I have three albums. You can stream them on Spotify, Apple Music, or catch them on SiriusXM. Thanks for watching. Life's short. Be cool. Be kind. Take care.